Hello YouTube, this is Darkon633. We're taking a look at another Star Wars review. This time we're going to take a look at the 6-inch Black Series C-3PO based its original tire. Now, what's actually kind of a pain about this release is that Hasbro decided to release it as a Walgreens exclusive. The other two previous Walgreens exclusives we have gotten so far from Hasbro was the prototype Boba Fett, which is basically the older design of Boba Fett, basically in just a full-on white color, with a little bit of gray in a few areas. And then we also got the Empress Wrath Vader, which is actually a new version of Vader that was released to represent his climactic scene in Return of the Jedi. However, this is the first character that was actually kind of important. Actually, no, it actually is quite important to be released as an exclusive for Walgreens. And it's very strange why Hasbro decided to release this version of C-3PO as a Walgreens exclusive. Anyways, we're going to take a look at a box. The box is pretty cool. It's got... Very nice look of C-3PO on the side there. Since it is a Walgreens exclusive, it does not have any numbers, and it does have a bio as normal. And now we're going to take a look at the figure more closely. The figure has some pretty good articulation, and it's good for a protocol droid. It doesn't really need a whole lot more articulation than it does overall. The head is on a ball joint with 360 movement, and it can look left and right just a bit. He does have a separate joint in the neck, which allows it to move forward and back. The shoulders are on a separate joint, which is actually kind of interesting since I didn't really see that in a lot of the photos. It's actually molded as a separate piece that swivels, but you do need to position it back into place in order for the effect to not break up. Because when you turn it, the piece here does not properly align with the lines on the armor there. His Shoulders are on ball joints with a good range of movement, but he does not have any elbow joints. His wrists are ball hinged with good range of movement. He does have pretty decent waist articulation, however, he can only move it left and right about there before it stops. But he does have a lot of movement looking up and down, so that's cool. He has ball joints at the hips with some swivel in the thighs, but you're not going to get a whole lot of articulation there. He has a single joint in the knees, and he can actually move in that direction as well. He has some really nice ankle joints with good range of movement, 360 there, and it can move up and down, and he does have the pivots as well, so he does have a lot of articulation. As a comparison, here is C-3PO next to his partner, R2-D2. Now, obviously, the mold for the 6-inch R2-D2 is not the accurate scale, as a lot of fans expected, but at least this particular figure does look really nice, and he does look pretty decent together next to his friend C-3PO. Overall, this is still a really nice release, and it's highly recommend to pick up if you are managed to be able to find it. However, I actually had to go to eBay for this figure, since I haven't been able to find it in any of my local stores, and it's been a real pain tracking this one down. I did get it for just slightly over retail, so it's not a whole lot of problems for me, but I really wish Hasbro decided to release this version of the character a lot easier, since he is a pinnacle character in the original trilogy as a whole, so it's a shame how the character was treated in the 6-inch Black Series line. Obviously, it's definitely not the chrome design, but I'm okay with the matte, somewhat metallically gold finish, because at least designed like this, the paint will stay much better than the chrome, which will most likely chip and crack over time, which is something I do not like about chrome figures in general. Anyways, this is definitely a worthwhile pickup, and I highly recommend tracking one down. Anyways, please comment, subscribe, and check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Also, check out Twitter under Darkon633, and... Don't forget to check down the other channels down below. I'll be back with more Star Wars reviews, but for now, I'll be seeing you too. Bye.